In this lecture, we are going to discuss about MIPS instruction set. So, we all know, we have already seen it in previous videos, uh, uh, what are the instruction set that we have. Uh, we have three types of instruction, one is R type, one is I type and the other one is J type. These are the three types of instructions that we have in MIPS. Now, the formatting uh, looks like something uh, like this. Uh, the MIPS formatting would look like something like this. So. Uh, we have off court and then we have RS, we have RT, we have RD, we have shift amount S H A M T, and then we have functions. All these instructions R, I, or J, all of them are 32 bits. So uh, how many bits each of these field contains? Of code would contain 6 bit, RS 5 bit, RT 5 bit, RT 5 bit, shift amount 5 bits and function also 5 bits. Sorry, 6 bits. 6 bits. Now, coming to the I type instruction. So, let's uh, design the format for I type instruction. Draw the uh, format for I type instruction and see and the uh, distribution here. Uh, so, uh, again, these the I type instructions are also going to be 32 bit. It has op code and then it has RT, then it has RD and then it has offset offset off code again 6 bit rt 5 bit rt 5 bit and offset is 16 bit for j type as with uh, as happened with this uh, other two instruction type uh, j type instruction is also 32 bit so it has off code and then it has offset. Off code is again 6 bit and offset is 26 bit. Now, uh, we already have seen the register file. Now, uh, from the register file, we'd like to see why why these field bits, uh, these fields contains only uh, contains 5 bits and uh, not more than 5 bits or less than 5 bits. So we'll see how uh, we can explain that. So let's uh, let's see that. Uh, first of all, uh, let's design a, a register file. So this is a register file and we all know that in, the, in this register file, we have registers. Uh, each of these registers are 32 bit of length and we have in total 32 registers in this register in this register file. So uh, uh, this is 0 and this is 31. And here from uh, this we have 32 registers. Now we have RS. This is our RS. And then we have RT. And then we have R D and then we have data link. Now, uh, as we know that we have 32 registers, so this R S can select any one from these 32 registers. To identify 32 bits, how many bits do we need? It's 2 to the power 5, which is 32. That means we need 5 bits. So the bit length here would be 5. Similar, similarly for RT and RT, this is going to be 5 bits. That's why you have 5 bits here. We have 5 bits here. And since the registers are 32 bit, the shifting can also be represented with 2 to the power 5. That's why we have 5 bits in the shift field. And what about this data field? Uh, what is the bit length uh, in, of each of these registers? The bit length is 32 because uh, see uh, 0 to 31 so each of these register can store 32 bit of value so this link would be 32 now let's extend this diagram a bit 
let's see uh, let, let's say we have a, a configuration something like this this uh, uh, let's say this is value coming from rs and this is some value coming from rt and if this is the case then let's say this is our alu and this is a alu operation consider that this is an add operation this alu is performing an add operation so the alu the data that has already been mentioned here 32 bit so this is going to be 32 bit so this is what a, a very simple data path also looks like now this is this this part shows the instruction format and this part shows the register file and, and its organization how we are uh, uh, like selecting registers and how we are performing the read operation from these registers